In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful and lovely watercolor floral note card. This is easy, simple for beginners and the card is perfect for any occasion. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Teresa and I am a self-taught watercolorist. In this channel, I do watercolor tutorials, artist vlog, and all tips and tricks to help you get better with your painting skill. And if this is something so interesting to you, consider subscribing. And now without further ado, let's get started. First, let me quickly show you the supply that I'll be using for today's painting. First, the paper that I'll be using for the painting is B100% cotton paper and I cut out from the big sheet and this is probably 5 by 7 inch and I also have a blank greeting card so later on I will stick the painting onto the card as well. For brushes today, I'll be using the black velvet Brow size 6, this is one of my favorite brushes so far and I also have the pencil to have a light sketch before we go into the painting and for the paint as always I'll be using my Windsor and New and Cotman palette I also have two cups of clean water and a piece of kitchen tissue for blotting all the supplies will be linked in the description below feel free to check them out before we start the final painting we will need to have some preparation i will show you how i prepped my color palette as always and i also mentioned in a lot of my videos before that color plays a very important role in every painting Having a thoughtful watercolor palette is a great way to set up for your success and also help your painting process get easier. As you can see, I am mixing some permanent rose with some cadmium yellow to achieve a warm, beachy tone and this is gonna be the color for the main roses. For leaves, I will be using emerald green, mixing with a little bit of cobalt blue. And as you can see, this is a very beautiful color and reminded me of the ocean. This color palette is actually inspired by one of the palettes that I saw on Pinterest called Summer. And now I am mixing three different colors for the white flowers. The white flowers will be acted like the fillers. Since we're painting a bouquet, so we'll, we'll need a couple of fillers to fill up the whole bouquet. And to make a little bit of contrast, I will be using indigo mixing with some green to have a very dark value for the leaves. And finally, I'll be using brow mixing with ochre for the envelope. And now let's do some practice. First, I will show you how to paint roses. This is gonna be the main flowers for the bouquet. To paint roses, I will start with the center of the rose. This center is gonna have a darker value compared to the outer. So, and from the center, I will start to paint a shape like a C curve shape. And this shape is gonna get bigger and bigger until we satisfy with the size of the rose and we can stop. I also have an in-depth tutorial video that show you how to paint roses. So I will link the video in the description below. Feel free to check that out. And now I am going to paint another rose so you can see the whole process again. And after the first rose is dry, I will go back and add more layer to give them some sharp definition. And as you know, there's so many ways to paint roses and this is one of the ways that I usually do because I feel comfortable doing this way. Feel free to follow me or if you prefer any way of painting rose, feel free to do so. You can see that I have some watermark on my second rose 
but I actually don't mind it. I think that it adds the row. It adds more texture to the rose. But if you don't like it, you can always use the brush with water and blend it out. Now I am adding another layer into the center to have some sharp contrast for the rose. The roses are pretty much done. I will start to add some leaves using the emerald green that we mixed in the beginning. And these are gonna be like the big leaves. Since these leaves are big in size, so I will give them a very light value by mixing water with the colors so that they don't actually look too heavy. And now is the time to add some fillers. For fillers, I will have some white flowers. It's very tiny and small flowers. So as you can see, I just use the tip of my brush and it just looks like I painted a dot on the paper. And for the flowers, I'll be using pink and yellow. And basically they will, the method of painting them is the same, just kind of painting dot. And later on, I will use the indigo, the darkest value to add some stems for these flowers. And I also want to add some small leaves and using the same colors that I used for the big leaf uh, to add some sort of contrast in size. Now this is gonna be another leaf, a very tiny and small leaf, but using the darkest value which is indigo mixing with green so that we can have contrast in colors as well. And as mentioned earlier, I'll go back to these white flowers and add some stems using the same mixture of indigo and green. I also want to add some cherry into my bouquet as well and these are only act as the reference uh, you can feel free to choose whatever you want to add into your bouquet you actually don't have to add all of the elements this is just the personal reference Okay guys, now we done practicing. Now we have the color palettes ready. We also practiced to paint some roses and also all the fillers elements. So I think that we are ready to put all of them together and create a beautiful floral envelope illustration. So let's get started. I will have the practice here with me so that I can always refer to whenever I need. I have my painting paper here with me. I will stick it to the cardboard and now I am grabbing my pencil and start drawing some guideline. Um, here I will save some of the space at the bottom so that I can write some short message. And here I'm just kind of draw the frame of the envelope so that I know where to paint the flowers. I am not sure if you can see my pencil lines because I am trying to do a very slight sketch so that I just um, some sure I have a guideline so my flower can be centered and you can do the same thing too if you don't feel comfortable painting 
right away. And as you can see, the envelope is very easy. It has just the um, the rectangle shape. And later on, we're gonna put some color on it to create some shadows and give it a more realistic look. Now I will pick up some pigments and start painting some roses first. Roses is gonna be the main flowers for this bouquet. I will have two roses in the center, one small and one big because I want them to have some sort of variety in size. I don't want them to be even because that's gonna look kind of boring. After I finish the roses, I will start adding the big leaves with the lightest value using the green that we're missing in the beginning. So basically, I'm just kind of add around the roses and the envelope frame that we drew in the beginning. Now I am going to add the filler elements around the roses as well. It's hard for me to explain about the composition because I am just kind of follow my instinct and um, basically I the roses and the pencil line will be the highlight for me and I'm just kind of add all of the fillers around them. I think that the more you paint, the better you're gonna become. So don't worry too much and just kind of follow your instinct. Just do it slowly and if you need to pause, feel free to do so because I actually did pause and have to look at the whole picture again and see if there's any empty place and need some more elements. So just feel free to Take it slowly, pause when you need. You don't have to speed up the process or be so nervous and worry about the composition too much. After done with the flowers, I will start painting the envelope. I think adding the envelopes give a little touch to the bouquet and it absolutely looks cute and lovely. So as you can see, the envelope is just simply the, um, the rectangle shape. And I am just kind of adding the colors, which is the yellow ochre mixing with a bit of brow to give them a little bit of shadow, so give it more illusion and delusion and definitions. Also added some leaves. It look like that uh, there's some small leaves that pick out from the envelope. I think this way it looks more natural. Um, 
I think if you don't want to add too more detail into the envelope, uh, you can stop here. It looks pretty good now, but I want to give them more details by adding some kind of lie. And these are like the folds that we often see on the envelope. And as always, for the final step, will be look at the whole picture again and see if there's any where that need more pigments and then you can add more pigment to give them a little bit more contrast or any play that needs some more definition then you can always add some more lights or shadows Okay guys, this is our final painting. I absolutely love it and this looks so lovely and cute and the final step is that we will use glue and stick it onto the front of the greeting card. I think this card is great for any occasion, even for happy birthday, Mother's Day or you just want to send a greeting card to your friends to show some support or just want them to know that you care about them that would be great and I'm sure they will happy to receive the handmade card by you so feel free to give it a try and let me know how it goes for this card you can always use some sort of message underneath the pen I'm sorry under the painting or you can just leave it blank and give and write a message inside the card so that the recipient when they receive your card they can frame it and hang on the wall i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you wondering if you're thinking about me too now it's too late now it's too late all right guys this is the end result this is how the card looks like and i absolutely love how it turned out and i hope that you would give it a try and if you do please don't forget to share with me on my instagram at teresa b underscore art i would love to see your paintings and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up that would help my channel grow don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future and i will see you in my next video bye